following a life-changing crusade in Sokoto State. Dr. Paul Enenche and Dr. Mrs. Becky Paul Enenche of Dunamis Church took their mission beyond the pulpit by reaching out to those most in need. On November 1, 2024, the couple visited a nearby internally displaced persons camp, where they brought essential relief, compassion, and renewed hope to hundreds of people who have been displaced from their homes. With a focus on meeting both physical and spiritual needs, the humanitarian outreach included free food distribution and a dedicated medical care program to address the urgent health care requirements of camp residents. Medical teams provided vital services, while Dr. Enenche and Dr. Mrs. Enenche took time to personally connect with camp members, bring with them, offering encouragement, and extending spiritual support. Yes. What do you need in Nigeria? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, and the worst part of it, when they may be attacked uh, or invade a, 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 a locality, they will just start shooting. They will just start shooting rampantly. While I, many people, of whoever you are. Yes, yes, yes. They will, they will kill and they will take some as a hostage and they will place a ransom, a, a ransom that they can they, they cannot even afford to pay. And at the end of the day, they will just shoot them. Yes, yes, uh, yes. And we had uh, and, and we had some issues that maybe uh, they, they will place a ransom yes. and maybe the community, they will try and gather some. Yes. When they give to them, they will collect and they refuse to give them. Yes, they refuse to they give the, the yes, they, they refuse to resume. And at the end of the day, they will just shoot him. So we have numerous, numerous cases like that. It's just that uh, like the condition is so, so, it's so unbearable. Um, do it through him. Let him be the one to do it. Like and he will own it. Yeah. And then you supervise it. When he, he will own it. He can say we borrow. So let yes. him own it. He will own the borrow. Serve the people. He will own it. And the man is out. Water, whatever, water, any other thing. And if it's, if it's agreeable, he can also be given money. To build more decent buildings than this, a whole block. More units. Units, 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 and then like, he said there are only like five even a block of posters. Yeah. Do you understand? This and there are ten thousand, two thousand people here. Mm. A block, a block of hostel. He can build it. We just, we just supervise it. Now, on behalf of Sokoto State sir, and the uh, Ministry of Social, Humanitarian Affairs and Social Affairs, we are very grateful, sir, with this kind of gesture. Uh, yes, we are, and we are hoping to see you next one, we'll sir. Come again. Thank you so come much, again. sir. The impact of this outreach has been described as profoundly uplifting, with numerous camp residents sharing stories of how this compassionate gesture helps them feel seen, valued, and supported in the times of need. True to Dunamis Church's mission oriented approach, no offerings were collected during the Sokoto Crusade as the Enenches prioritized giving rather than receiving, thus demonstrating their deep commitment to reaching out to the underprivileged without expectation. The outpouring of support has left a lasting impact, and the gratitude expressed by the camp's residents underscores the transformative power of compassion in action.